all right people of the web world in this video we are going to talk about props in react so props stand for properties i'll show you a visual diagram which will help you to understand it better once we code it in this video right so so this is canva and let me throw in a shape here so consider this is your app right this is your whole app and we know we deal with a lot of components in react so this is your react component and let's change the color of this and make it red right so this is let's say a main component and apart from this let's say you have one more component which is this triangle let's make this a bit greenish color now what you want to do here is I'm bringing one more small shape and let's call this as data this is our data right call this data now we have this data to this main component this parent component and this parent component has one more component which is inside it uh, which is this triangle right now if you want to pass this data d square here from your parent to your child which is this triangle that is when props come into picture when we're talking about react right you will see how easy that is to use so let's get into vs code so this is the application i have been using for explaining this react course but this can be your any application the logic remains the same right so inside of a source um let's create a component first let's call this header dot js and this would be a class component in this case create class component export yeah this works right so this will be our parent component and then we'll have one more component and let's call this um let's call this a uh, child right so it's it's easier for us to keep up with the flow let's call this child.js and this will also this can be a functional component so let's call react create functional component export so this is our child component i'll get rid of the old way of writing functions and make that an arrow function here yeah cool so this header is the parent and child is the child so in this case the uh, red circle is the parent and the triangle is our child and we are going to send data from header this d from header into the child so we have both the components ready but the next thing is data we don't have data right so what we can do here is just create a json file uh, let's call this data dot json so yeah this is our json file and inside this let's quickly create a couple of uh, json data let's say you have an id and this is one okay right and then you have name and the value of it is zero one and then you have let's say blah 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 right the value of it is all all any random stuff you know what i mean here so this is one part and let's copy this for multiple times this this should be fine three and now let's change the values this is three this is let's say james bond oh not bond bond let's say let's say elon musk right okay now now we have data as well so let's import that data that json data in our parent component which is header.js so write import data from 
um, data dot JSON. All right. Now let's check if we really have our data imported and everything works nice, right? So we'll just log the data. So now let's uh, run this, right? So we know that we actually have the data and it's working. So just write npm start. Oh no, npm start, all right? It should work. All right, so we don't see the console log here. That's because we haven't um, registered this component inside our app.js. So let's say header from header. And let's call this component here. Cool. Now if we go back, we can see that we have our log here. Make sure that this is coming from header. What you can do here is write from header. Right, so this is coming two times and I'm not, uh, right, that's, that's an issue for some other day, but right now let's not waste our time over there. So now we're calling it header. So let's make it um, more sensible, right? Uh, like there's no header over here. So let's create a section and let's call this uh, this is parent comp comp right so this is your parent component then this has a class name of header so this is a parent component let's also give some basic style to this as well Let's quickly create a CSS file inside of our styles. Um, header.css. And here, let's target the header class. Background color, you guessed it right. It's gonna be red for sure. And a bit of height, let's say 50px. And let's call that file, let's call that styles here, import. Harder. Go back to our browser. We have this is our parent component, nice and distinguishable. And we also have the data here, which is coming from our header, right? Let's talk about the child component now. So let's um, bring in this child component to our parent component first. For that, let's import it. Import child from. child of course and let's register that component here child all right let's call this this is child comp yeah so now um, we have our child component inside our parent component right so this is our child component and we are registering that from our header component which is a parent now what we have to do here is transfer this data that we are getting from our data.json to our child component using props. So it's fairly simple and this is how we do it. First of all, create a state object here. Yeah, and if you want to know more about state, you can go back and check my state tutorial. It is a very to the point tutorial where I've taken the example of the IPL game and I'll mention the link down in the description. So that will help you understand the concept of props a little bit more um, easily. So going through that uh, state tutorial is something that I would definitely recommend before jumping onto props, right? So yeah, inside this, let's call person data. Or let's gi give this a different name, right? Let's call um, my data and this is equal to the data that we are calling from our JSON file, right? So this should be the name that you have imported here and this can be any user defined name. 
this could be like your name or stuff like that and now you have to send this state to this component using props so you can write props data is equal to inside curly braces this dot state dot my data so you are referring to my data of the state here and you are calling the prop name this is basically called a prop as props data this is also user defined and can be anything that you like now you have sent your data to a child component from your parent but inside child you have to receive that data right and that's also fairly simple so you, you get a keyword which is props and this has to be written as props itself because it's a key feature of react and you have to write that basically it's a keyword so that goes as an argument and now if you log it um, console.log props and it's just distinguished a bit so we know where the data is coming from child data and let's check in our browser what do we have here you can see we have a log child data which is coming from child.js and in that we have props data which is an array and it has three values which is our json data now this is called props data why because we are calling the prop as props data and the value of that is that json file right so now we know that we have the data inside our child component but how do we use inside it right like inside the template now this is where things get interesting so you just have to create a constant and call that um, person data this could be of course anything it's just a name of a constant and the value of this is props dot the prop name which is props data dot map so basically if we look at here props data is an array now if you want to cycle between array and um, select a specific element out of it you have to map that array right so we're using map on props data which is the array and let's call this um, person data let's call this uh, datas so basically this is um, plural and this is singular now this is an arrow function and inside this we'll have a written which will be a div uh, yes I'm missing something here this has to be inside uh, the parentheses of course right yeah now yeah so this will return a div and this div could be let's say a paragraph which will be person data which is one um, instance of our JSON data uh, here so basically I'm selecting one of it that's why person data out of person data dot let's say ID right so it will cycle through all the data IDs of it and one more paragraph where it will cycle with name name and you just have to call this variable inside your main division here which you are actually rendering and if you go back here you can see your id and name the id of the second record and name the third id and name in the same way you can also um, use the third value which is uh, blah 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 and you can write person data dot blah 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 oh uh, this blah 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 which will be an issue because we cannot really use spaces here so what i'm gonna do here is replace this with a single blah right 
super cool. And this will be person data dot blah. And we can see here we have our data here. The data here. So that's about it. Um, I'll show you one more example of this. So here you can see that we are actually sending JSON data, but this could be any silly data. You can say um, my variable, which is a prop name. This is equal to this is um, coming from par parent as props. This is my um, parent component and this is my prop name and this is my prop value. Now, this my variable is being sent as a prop here and you can assign that into a variable constant here or a variable doesn't matter. Um, let's say some data is equal to props dot my variable, right? Some data. Now let's get that some data here. And you can see um, this is coming from parent as props is printed over here. So that's how easy it is to um, use props inside React. And yeah, if you still have any doubt about it, feel free to mention that down in the comment section and I would be more than happy to explain specific doubt to you. So that's about it. And if you like what I've done so far, please press the subscribe button and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye.